good morning. We're about to go ref. I'm not refing tomorrow, but I'm dead tired. I did not want to do this today, honestly. I would have rather just stayed home, worked on my channels, got in some rest. We're here until 5, so let's make the best out of it. Alright, it's 4.55 and I just finished refing. I am about to go get some Subway because I am freaking hungry and we are 40 minutes away from my house. So we'll probably be getting there around 5.30 but after getting Subway or probably around 6. We'll see how much we make from today. I'm guessing Norco likes Trump. I didn't record myself get Subway but before I got home I did stop by 7-Eleven to get a ghost. I got home and had to go straight on a run because then I'm gonna get too fucking lazy. After running, I went to a Target run with my girl to pick up some dog food and this box. Just got home from picking up some dog food and it's already 7. Time is flying and I'm burnt as heck. What the f Once we got home, I recorded a quick gaming video, then got straight to editing and uploading today's video. Afterwards, I got some food at Cozy Corner with my girlfriend right before going to sleep. All right, so today it is the next day, but I realized that I didn't record the clip I was expecting to record. But the reason that I am not going to be refing anymore, I'm not going to be refereeing soccer games anymore, is because I truly need my weekends to myself. And not to myself in a way where I'm going to be relaxing, I'm going to be sleeping in every single day, I'm going to be chilling, playing games, doing nothing every day. That's not how it's going to work. I'm going to be busting my ass off every single weekend. I'm going to be doing sports content i'll be editing a lot i'm gonna be recording gaming videos preparing for the week that's about to come up when i ref my whole day goes poof disappears this video i got out at about 4 50 got home at around 6 30 i believe had some time to spend with my girlfriend we had to run some chores go to the stores and get some things and then by the time we got home i barely had enough time to edit and work on my videos it is amazing money Refing has allowed me to do a lot in a much faster time than I expected to. I genuinely appreciate the opportunity that the homie's dad was able to bring. Refing is also not good for the content. Refing is good for the money, but I'm not able to record myself ref. Like show you guys what I do basically. Which is why now on the weekends I'm going to be doing food deliveries and grocery deliveries instead create my own schedule see when it's the busy times and food deliveries and when it's not i'm gonna come back home and edit and work on my things or even stop by the starbucks or somewhere with my laptop so i can work while i'm waiting for orders but yeah that's basically it Hope y'all understand why I am not refing anymore. Right now, I'm also going to be working on the homework I was supposed to do yesterday for the real world. But I'll show you guys that once I'm done with it. It's me again. Um, another thing is the guy that gives me the games for refing. He had hit me up yesterday before I let him know I was not refing anymore. And he said the tournament that I refed at yesterday, the one that you're watching in this video, they charge you $125 annually every single year so that you're able to ref for them. But I'm not refing for them anymore. So whatever I made yesterday or today in this video will be minimal. I doubt we're making that much more than 125 And if we are, it's just upsetting thinking that I would have made more. That is something that I would have loved to know beforehand. Because if I would have known that beforehand, I would have not agreed to refing these games. Because I had already decided I was not going to be refing anymore. It is what it is though. Now that I'm not refing though, I'll be able to make some more money from Uber Eats, delivering food on my own time, on my own schedule, which that is way more important to me compared to the money that I'm making. Cause yeah, I was making a lot of money, but I was not given any free time, which I hate. I love having my own schedule. I love working for myself. I love being able to control my time. Well, all that to say that the content's just gonna keep getting better. You guys should be expecting some food delivery videos and other than that let's get to finishing the homework that we had to do for the real world and let's upload today's video all right i just finished with one of the businesses so what they said was so what he said was to figure out two businesses and answer these questions about the businesses the message who they're going to reach out to and how. He also said to know your audience. Make sure the people you talk to are the people you need to be talking to. 
take two examples, write an essay about the target audience. So like I said, I just did one business for today. We'll probably do another one later today, but for tomorrow's video, because remember right now is tomorrow from what you're watching or from what you watched. First one we started with was obviously strictly business. The message is fuck it. We grind. Anything you do, whether it's for entertainment, pleasure, or leisure time, make sure it is strictly for business purposes. Try to monetize anything you can to be financially free and your own boss. Who are we reaching out to? We are reaching out to business people and hustlers, people that are motivated and disciplined to become a better version of themselves, mentally, physically, and of course, financially. How do we reach them? There's a couple of ways we can reach these people, starting off with the environment, by being in the same place that the target audience would hang around. So one example that I use is whenever me and my cousin started doing the pressure washing thing, we did not go to Santa Ana, we did not go to Anaheim, we did not go to any of the ghetto cities because that's not where the money is at. We went to Irvine, we went to Bueno Park, we went to Huntington Beach, we went to a couple of different cities that obviously people are better off financially because we knew that they had a little bit more cash available to invest into pressure washing or whatever services we were trying to sell. Same thing with this. We want to go to places where people are hustlers, people are driven, business mindset, and also willing to spend a good book on some good clothing because obviously Strictly Business is a clothing brand. Another way we can reach out to people is through social media, organic, and ads. There's just so many ways. We just got to make good content based off of the message that we have for the brand. The final one, advertisements, billboards and bus stops advertisement. I've been seeing a lot of these driving around my city. It says advertise here, call this number. And I really think that would be helpful to get people around my city, around where I'm from, to bring attention to the clothing brand. So many people walk by the bus stop. So many people see the billboards driving by that you never know who's going to be seeing them. It can be the type of person that you're shooting for. And even if it's not the type of person that you're shooting for, like for me, Strictly Business, a random person can see Strictly Business and just think the clothing is cool and still cop the target audience is high school graduates doesn't matter how how far from graduating i graduated four years ago and this still applies high school graduates that feel like they are missing something they're motivated to find out what they are passionate about but they know continuing school is not worth it. They rather invest in themselves and their own knowledge. They work a 9 to 5 in the meantime to find and fund their passion. They work endless hours even after they clock out of the 9 to 5 and on the weekends. These are people working endlessly. People know the hustler's mentality. People know that it's strictly business. 